we are looking at uh, telecom, and telecom uh, is to have their state of Arkansas contract, uh, and we will not be installing the phone system traditionally. They will be installing handsets. Uh, the phone system lives in their data center in Little Rock, and uh, it will be communicating through encrypted lines out of their data center, so we have encryption. The cost for the install of that phone system is $2,600. And our monthly fee for uh, community center community development and city hall will be $1,989.60. Now, just for the lines that we're paying on, uh, for the Centrix lines from uh, CenturyLink, we are currently paying $1,587.45 for all three facilities. So our monthly uh, charge will go up for $2.50. Uh, and we're going to buy your contract. Main reason for this is if we have any problems with any of the phones due to user damage, uh, uh, the phone flat out not working, they will cover. Uh, there's no central phone system to uh, have to worry about. It's in their data center, they don't have to uh, troubleshoot any of that. That's what we here. So, in a nutshell, that's what we're looking at. Any questions? I do. All right. As some of the people know, we, I didn't mind waiting competitive bidding for an emergency item. As a general rule, I'm not in favor of waiting competitive bidding. I have got some questions because you say in Section 1, competitive bidding would be costly and non-productive. Exactly. Why would it be costly? Uh, the essence of mine. If we put out competitive bidding, I'm worried that we're going to the lowest bid we could bid and we wouldn't get the quality. And this is part of what competitive bidding does is if, if the lowest bidder meets the qualifications, but we determine that by looking at all of the aspects of the bid. If you say, well, you're already saying this is going to be more expensive than what we're currently doing, which would be potentially be an issue. Well, if we put it out for competitive bid, we would get a in-house phone system. I don't particularly want an in-house phone system, if I was going to plan a phone system, it would be at the police department because of the survivability, the groundability. Um, it's got a lightning halo there and surviving that port tornado. Um, it would not be housed in any of these locations, which would be costly uh, having an off-ground phone system. But one thing that I thought was attractive here, it would be in any city. So that's the one factor that I thought was important. And if we 